morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Captain Lee Zidara Kare. I'm a pilot by profession. I'm working as a pilot now, just like my brother said. I'm, uh, I'm the last one here. This is going to be the last. So, how I got to know this one, first of all. Um, last year, we entered a lot of platforms because we know about early trade. I've been a trader since I was 27 years old. I've been a forex trader. And I, if you are going to get a PhD in anything, I believe I have a PhD. But I never understood why you would trade and then with all the knowledge you have, you know these things just had the way. So I knew there was something funny going on in there. So when I knew about arbitrage, I, I decided I was going to invest in arbitrage. And then, uh, of course, a lot of them were scam platforms. So most of the cash I had got in there last year, just like my brother said. As at the time, as at the time that uh, I met him, I was down about maybe seventy thousand dollars. I had sold my properties, my car, and loan companies were on my neck. So one of those platforms, my partner introduced me to a group where I heard his voice. And when I heard his voice, his voice had so much authority and reassurance sure. that so many people started begging him in that um, record in my head that, sir, with what you know, can't you raise something up for the Africans that we can stay under? And I'm sure he remembers that conversation. He just laughed and said, don't worry, something is coming up. That was around March last year. So I now say, I must find this man. I must stay under this man. And then I think about a month later, that same upline I introduced me to uh, the Telegram group where Jason was. That's when I now began to learn about uh, AAS. I was so happy. I said, finally, something is coming up. So from about April last year, I've been believing in him. And he kept giving us assurances. First of all, he was even giving us updates regarding the previous platform. I don't want to name it here. But you know, his confidence and with what he knew. I was so, so taken in by his personality, considering where I came from and what. Basically, when he said, ah, I traded for 70 years, I said, this guy is almost like my mirror image. That means we started at the same time. We're trying to get out from under poverty. So you can imagine my surprise when the thing now finally started January this year. I was so happy. This is my brother, our, elder, our eldest brother is a controller, general of immigration. I just retired a couple of months ago. I put him in. Now I put literally every member of his family in. We have about 10, the other boy family. Check the name other boy, you know about them in Nigeria. We are there. We, we, so because of me, all of them join. All of them join. Some of them have to, to borrow money. In fact, there's nobody here that didn't borrow money, I'm sure. That is true. You understand? That is true. But every single thing that uh, Mr. Jessam said, he did. The platform began to work. If you want to withdraw, before you even take a breath around, it's, it's, gone. it's there already. I mean, we were enjoying ourselves. We began to, we began to construct our lives back. So, um, I watched uh, a live thing just like this when he now said something in Calabar that the platform was going to go on maintenance for 30 days. Everybody just became frightened. Our faces became white. Even me watching it, I said, what the hell is going on here? He looked at them. He smiled. said, be yourself. You know, his confidence is what we draw from. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, I knew that for this man to say this, he's the only person that has put a face to a platform. All the other ones, including the parent one, nobody came out to say, I am the CEO or anything. So, we believe and trust in him. So, the 30 days now came, and then, ah, we are going to need another 30 We were so disappointed. And for me, it wasn't that I didn't believe him. It was more like, you know, when you are someone, or a person of integrity, and you break your word, it really hurts you. I'm a man of integrity, and I know he is. So for him to make that statement, I knew that he really hurt him. To say he's asking for another 30 days. He didn't want to tell us what was going on there. If we had known, maybe we wouldn't have taken it that way. I confess that I was very angry. And I had a lot of down minds. Currently, I have nine, apart from my family, I have nine people that I registered extra. And they were asking me that, bros, this thing don't cast. You know Nigerians now. You are not wrong to them. They don't carry light. They started using all those cliches. I was so, at last I told them that, look, I told you guys this thing. I believe in this. But if you guys don't want to believe, that's your problem. I'm here for life. I had something else I needed to say. The moment I joined his group, the little he taught in under a month, I began to recognize Ponzi platforms the moment they come up. I know what to look for. I'll go to the deposit section. I'll click. I'll see the wallet address. I'll go back. I'll go back. If it's the same, I'll just turn my back. 
So because of him, the little money I had left was saved. So everything else I had that I borrowed, I put in the ears. And it was performing exactly the, the way he said it was supposed to perform. And then because of these 30 days, and then another 30 days, and then another number of weeks, I don't say what the hell is going on here. We don't know what is going on. We got confused. The, the greatest persecution I got was from my wife. I know that one is the most painful thing because you live with her. After the first one, she said, uh, she calls me, babe, she said, babe, don't, don't believe this thing again. I said, no, 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 don't talk like that. That we have to hang up. But at the end of the second month, she looked at me and said, look, 